Today, we will redesign a YouTube thumbnail for Canade Digital. As a new YouTube creator, his thumbnail is a photo of himself with some text. Sometimes it's good to have a photo of yourself pointing at something or a facial expression given, depending on the type of video, and it can help build your brand. When I first started, I was in my thumbnails too. Honestly, once I removed myself from the thumbnails, my subscribers, watch time, and views went up. Every channel will always be different. You can decide what works for you. We will be using Adobe Spark because it's simple yet easy to get great results quickly. And the free version helps too for those who are on a budget. Let's head over to Adobe Spark and log in. If you don't have an Adobe account, go ahead and create an account. Adobe Spark has many YouTube thumbnail templates. As you can see, Google recommends a custom thumbnail size at 1280 pixels wide by 720 pixels tall. Either click back home or click on the Spark icon to get back to the main screen. Click on custom size and enter 1280 pixels wide by 720 pixels tall and click next when ready. In the top left hand corner, the file name is called my post. Click on the pencil beside it to rename your working file. I'm going to click on the photos icon and find free photos for a phone. The cool thing about Adobe Spark is the images are free. Some of the pictures are from royalty free resources such as Pixabay, Unsplash and Pixels. You could go more in depth and go directly to those websites and other resources if you wanted to and upload them as a photo. Or we can stay within Adobe Spark. I am looking for an image that shows only a phone with a non-busy background. Once you found a photo, click on the image and it automatically gets placed on your post. Please note, it may seem we are picking a photo and adding some text to it. And we are. Choosing that good graph could mean more views or passing it. I'm going to close the sidebar at the top left corner as shown here. To zoom out, click on the magnifying tool or use the keyboard shortcuts Command minus for the Mac or Control minus for a PC. Resize the image to the full width and height as possible. I will extend the image a tad over the size, making sure no slight gaps are showing. Click on the text icon and you'll see different templates for the text style. Anything with a yellow banner means premium users, so a free account won't have access to this. This is fine because the premium text temps are way too busy for our needs. Try to keep it simple. Click on add your text. Remember, we only have two to three seconds to grab a viewer's attention. To move the text box, place your cursor or mouse on top of the text. The cursor will change to a bi-directional arrow. From here, you can move the text anywhere you want. On the right hand side, you can change the font size and color. You can also grab it by the corner of the text box to resize it as well. I want to emphasize the new and smart forward words. To do this, I need to hit return to add a new line. The word new and smartphone will now stand out. Beside the alignments, I'm going to click on the circle, grid, and magic alignments. I like the magic one, as the text fits the space evenly from left to right, and then adjust the line spacing. We don't have a logo for this YouTube channel. To learn how to place a logo, watch this clip on doing so. In Adobe Spark, one can go through the different enhancements, blurs, and filters to change an image is shown. This is a powerful action, as some people would use Photoshop or Lightroom. Select the image by clicking on the image, or do a marquee selection. Play with the effects of brightness, shadow, lighting, multiply, and contrast. To apply the result, click off the effect. Let's remove the Adobe Spark logo, so it won't show in your thumbnail. Click on the Spark logo. It will ask again if you want to remove this logo. If you have a premium account, you can remove the watermark forever, or else you have to do it each time you create a project. It's time to download the thumbnail to your computer. You have the option to download this as a PDF, PNG, or JPEG. I'm going to download this as a solid color PNG. The image will download into my folder. Now I can use this customized thumbnail for your channel. Hey everyone, if you'd like a YouTube thumbnail review, redesign, and tutorial, let me know by adding your comment below with the name of your channel and what video, and I'd be happy to do it. Thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time.